The development of functional nanomaterials with multi-detection modalities has opened exciting new avenues for creating novel technologies and scientific applications. What can we do with them? How can we use them? So what is really exciting for me is the fact that Today, we can actually incorporate them in various applications and we can use them for specific applications to enhance our well-being, to live longer life, to, to have better cars, better houses, better environments and have a more prosperous life. Researchers at the DOE's Savannah River National Laboratory are using nanomaterials to selectively and wirelessly generate heat localized and on demand for the targeted release of payloads enhanced by catalytic processes and therapeutics. Conventional bulk heating methods like conduction, convection, and radiation heat from the outside environment. SRNL's non-contact technology heats from the inside, starting uniformly at the nano level and expanding to the macro environment, really almost acting as a wireless nano antenna delivered via a field of plasmonic light or magnetically. By strategically placing nano antennas in regions where heat is necessary, temperature can be methodically controlled. We can place these nanostructures in very cold environments and we can heat only the nanoparticles. So if they are in some areas that we just want to heat the nanoparticles and the close proximity of the nanoparticles even though the entire environment is at very low temperatures, we can really achieve that with this non-contact wireless technology. The advantages are faster, modulated, and localized heating, with shorter diffusion times, which reduces the wasted thermal load on the environment. Being non-contact and highly selective, the input energy is also significantly minimized. Wireless thermo nanotechnology is especially effective using hybrid nanostructures, which take advantage of properties of two or more individual nano components as a new multifunctional composite is created. Hybrid nanostructures can also be responsive and energized by both light and magnetic fields. A great example is gold iron oxide hybrid nanomaterial. Due to its unique properties that make it inert and resistant to oxidation, gold is a valuable resource to science and industry. High cost and limited supply have reduced gold's non-decorative utilization in the past. But through solution chemistry, seeding gold onto another nanomaterial now makes economic sense. We actually couple these gold nanoparticles with a more abundant, cheaper material rust in the form of the iron oxide. So what we found, it was that by creating this hybrid material, the material is retaining both properties of the individual components, and also as a hybrid material behaves better in various ways. Alchemy is almost reality and in some ways better. The hybrid gold iron oxide nanoparticles also add magnetic functionality and brings better catalytic response than gold nanoparticles alone. The door to practical utilization of nanomaterials has swung wide open. Advanced biochemical and catalytic processes, manipulation of payloads, environmental remediation, radiation and chemical detectors, energy storage and conversion, biological and healthcare industries, such as destruction of bacteria or microbial environments, disinfection by remotely raising temperature, and theranostics are just some of the possible applications. SRNL's nano research is funded by DOE's Laboratory-Directed Research and Development Program. LDRD supports mission agility, scientific and technical vitality, and workforce development. By having this LDRD program, the impact that we are making is not just that we develop a new technology, but also we train the next generation of scientists in the field. On top of that, the program allows us to publish our work, to inspire other researchers, and to kind of build on the, the technologies that we are developing to push the boundaries and to kind of take it in many other directions.